Hey guys, this is Kyle Maddock, and you're listening to the news from around Westeros. For those of you who like a dash of sports with your fantasy novels, Sports Illustrated annual power issue has an interview with NFL diehard fan George R. R. Martin. On the cover of the magazine, we see NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell doing his best Ned Stark impression. George is such a die-hard football fan that he's actually placed several NFL references in the pages of A Song of Ice and Fire. There's a reference to Giants quarterback Phil Simms. There's a knight somewhere in there with the Dallas Cowboys star as his sigil. And also the Giants beating Bill Belichick and the Patriots in Super Bowl XLII. I think that's pretty cool. Even if I do hate the Giants. In the article, George was asked who Giants quarterback Eli Manning would be in the Song of Ice and Fire universe. Eli Manning would probably be someone like Loris Tyrell, the Knight of Flowers, who has a bigger brother, Lord Garland Tyrell, who is even better swordsman than he is. So that got me thinking, of course there are going to be football fans out there who read this interview who don't watch Game of Thrones. So they're going to be like, hmm, Loris Tyrell, huh? let me check this out. And then they flip on the scene, I happen to be from New England, and therefore I am a Patriots fan. And Eli, you beat us in two Super Bowls, and my heart was broken. So, uh, you bastard. But I guess I can admit that you played a couple good games, you bastard. All right, guys, if you weren't able to get your hands on this, The Winter is Coming presents a special collector's edition Game of Thrones magazine, the unofficial guide to the most epic fantasy series in history. Ooh, that's epic. Don't worry, Winter is Coming has just started releasing some of the articles in various forms on their website. A version of this article appeared in a special collector's edition Game of Thrones magazine. We will be reprinting several of the articles from that magazine for the benefit of our international readers and others who were unable to buy the magazine in stores. Now, I gotta say, this magazine must have been selling out all over the place because, frankly, I didn't even see it in any of the stores. It's hard to get your hands on this one. But it's a beautiful magazine. Nice job, guys, over there. And uh, if you're an international fan and you weren't able to get your hands on it, head over to winteriscoming.net and check out the articles. And last but not least, Game of Thrones is gracing the cover of Entertainment Weekly. I think that's about the 500th time it's been on the cover. Yeah, 500's probably a safe bet. Alright guys, let me know in the comments below if you were able to get your hands on the Game of Thrones magazine. My name's Kyle Maddock, and you've been listening to the news from around Westeros. What is going on? It's like a war zone in my neighborhood.